What comes next for an historic Lancaster County Bridge recently damaged by a tractor trailer? The iconic Bitzers, Bitzers Mill covered bridge remains closed in West Earl Township after the truck got stuck and tried to maneuver its way out. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz has more on the timeline for repairs and how crews plan to preserve the bridge. These photos show a tractor trailer stuck inside the Bitzers Mill covered bridge in West Earl Township, one of Lancaster County's historic landmarks. Bitzers Mill uh, specifically is the oldest one uh, that's actually still in use, 1846. Uh, so it's got a lot of history to it. It happened on November 20th when police say the driver tried to get their more than 13 feet high truck through the bridge, which has a clearly marked height restriction of 10 feet 6 inches. Understanding those signs is basic knowledge, so there, it really shouldn't happen. That sign that says 10 foot 6 is as big as I am. Charges are now pending against the driver, who police say is from Georgia. The damaged bridge remains closed as the focus turns to fixing and preserving it. It's a heavily traveled road. Uh, there's lots of traffic there uh, throughout the year, and this time of the year, you know, winter weather as well. Hopefully we'll we'll have it open sooner than later. And you can see some of the extensive damage left behind from this truck. PennDOT says that it could take a while for the bridge to be fully repaired. Fortunately, an inspection showed no damage to the bridge deck, just to the upper supports. The state is confident it will be fixed in 2024, but how far into the year is not known. Getting the materials is, is probably one of the big drivers of of when the bridge can be repaired. PennDOT agrees preserving the bridge's historic integrity is top priority, but says doing so has its challenges. We have to use, uh, you know, the, the same material that the bridge was built, so that the, the timbers that we use have to be um, that the same material. Until then, drivers should plan for the current detour to remain in place for several months. It's, it's a headache for everybody. It's a headache for uh, for the folks that have to repair it, the motorists that, that are impacted by the bridge, and, and, and the person who hits it as well. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.